So we're out in the field here with Eric Richter, agronomic sales agronomist. What are you doing, Eric? I'm looking for western bean cutworm, Sean. What are you finding today? A lot of them. Uh, pretty much there's a western bean cutworm larva in every ear of corn. And uh, some of them have pupated. Uh, they're out of the ear now, but we can still see the damage that they've caused. Significant ear feeding, kernel feeding, and uh, now we're starting to get the secondary mold infection, and this is going to be a real mess at harvest, unfortunately. Every ear seems to have some western bean cutworm in there. Yeah, this is incredible pressure. Uh, we're again in the Bothwell area. This is one of the hot spots in Ontario, and there's no doubt looking at it, there's certainly hybrids out there that uh, are not giving the grower the protection that they require with this much uh, pest pressure. So it's pretty clear the quality issues that growers could see as far as uh, western bean cutworm feeding. What are some of the other advantages of trying to control western bean cutworm? Well, and, and first and foremost would be yield, of course. But we talk about the quality component and this feeding that we're seeing here is certainly opening those kernels up for secondary infection with fusarium. And the, the concern here is that as that uh, fungal, the mold, the fusarium grows and develops, we'll get uh, vomitoxins produced in the, in the uh, grain. And uh, very quickly the grower could be faced with situations that the elevator or grain trade won't, uh, won't accept or certainly dock that corn as the grower brings it in at harvest time. So what are your thoughts on what growers can do to prevent western bean cutworm damage? Well, we're from Syngenta, it's exciting. We've got a uh, unique trait in the market, uh, Agrisure Viptera, and it's uh, the only uh, high dose uh, trait that controls western bean cutworm. It's definitely best in class. And we're really fortunate in this field that we've got a comparison side by side and we'll take you here in just a minute and, and show you side by side the other rows with the Syngenta hybrid with the Vepterra trait. It's very exciting to see the difference. Well, let's go take a look at that spot, spot in the field. Okay. So now we're in the part of the field with the Agasher Vepterra hybrid, Eric? Yes, Sean, uh, we're standing here, the growers planted 39M, 3111. It's got the Agasher Vepterra trait. Absolutely amazing the difference row to row. We've free husk some of these back here just to do an initial scout. You can see these ears here, absolutely no feeding, tip feeding or ear feeding at all. And then as we go down the row, you can see ear after ear, we husk these back, absolutely zero, zero feeding. And you can see that that trade has given us 100% protection against the Western bean cutworm. Absolutely amazing, certainly a great solution for this for this uh, major pest that we're seeing in the parts of Ontario and corn production area. That's amazing, Eric. Yeah, you, the no, no yield or quality loss associated with western bean cutworm with this Agasher Viptera hybrid. No. We're very excited from Syngenta, as they say, a best-in-class trait and uh, excited to offer this to, to our customers and corn growers in Ontario.